So we just got to the spot by the lake and looking out. It's kind of interesting. So this lake is a man-made lake. It's dammed up. And it looks like they let a bunch of the water out. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I'm talking about. Big tree. It was just perfect. Give me a good fire. Let's make some top ramen. There you go. I'm gonna drop an egg in there. Give myself a little protein. I'm about to run out of battery on my phone. So I am going to start setting up my hammock. Things all puffed up, let's uh, close this little pillow thing too which is awesome. Oh, yeah. you. What you're looking at. Yeah you don't wear shoes, you're lucky. Wanna feed your cold. I'm pretty. That fishing line, Nelson, don't get tangled. It's already happening. It's already happening. So that's Mount Shuxon over there. You might uh, might recognize it from a really famous photo. If you go up to Artist Point on the other side, there's this cool uh, picturesque lake that people like to take pictures of. But down here, it's not Mount Shuxon. That's the center point. Center point's right behind me. It's gonna be Mount Baker. Just towering over us. Sure hope it doesn't explode. That'd suck. So my camp's over on the other side of those trees right there. But when I first got here, there's some people camping right about there. They had a truck. There's this road here, but I know it's, uh, it's gated off at the top. So we're gonna do some exploring and see how they got down here. There's the gate. That's where they came through. It's like someone was over here chopping up some wood. So I'm gonna take advantage of it and grab some of this. I just realized I set my other coffee cup with my coffee out there somewhere. We're gonna go up to these hot springs, which are really close by. It's not that far away, it's only a couple miles. Are you sitting on my jacket? 
Oh, almost missed it. All right, here's where I gotta go. We gotta turn up this way. You land in the snow. It's nice and cold. All right, let's get back to camp. <laughs> Burned out a hollow hole. It's good. It's fine. We can work with this. I'm gonna check on the solar panel real fast. See how the battery's doing. Y'all see that? Four lights. That means the battery's full. That's awesome. Damn, there's some heat coming off this thing. I like it. It's drying this wood out. Oh, Wendy. Nelson found a nice little spot for, I guess he's getting a little wind block from my hammock setup. While I'm here, I might as well just show you my setup right there. So what I do is I stake it, stake it down and I put a rock on it. And that keeps it from shifting too much when it gets windy. I mean, it's shifted a little bit, but I'll just straighten it out before I go to sleep tonight. Well, I took a nap, and uh, looks like the fire burned down while I was napping. That's good. I don't want to get up. Dang, it's almost seven. It's still light out. It's confusing. I better move or I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Another day of working in my sandals. I don't think I ever put shoes on. I do that sometimes. So I just grabbed the camera from doing the sunset time lapse thing. Oh, that was kind of cool. Uh, I'm making some chicken right now. So let's go check it out. All right, got the second piece cooking and some butter. I don't know if you're supposed to ch cook chicken and butter, but that's all I got. And then here's a nice cooked piece. Oh, shoot, my tortillas. Looks like, looks like it. Follow me. Follow your nose. Chicken burrito. Got some nice light over here. You can actually kind of see Nelson. There he is. Got the last of the uh, firewood burning right there. I think I had to soak it like two or three times last night. And it is cold this morning, Nelson. He's all bundled up down there. Big stretch, big stretch. 
Last two mornings I've woken up and I noticed there's something out here in the lake just bobbing around. I thought it might have been a log at first, but it seemed like it was moving. It's pretty far away. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it is a river otter. I think he's just doing some fishing. Oh, hey. Come on, coffee cup. Oh, there he popped up. I think that was him. I don't think that was a fish. So I believe this is all just original old growth. But I mean, look at this monster over here. Check out these little notches. Another one. There's another one. When the original loggers were out here, what they did is they had these planks. And they would cut those notches and then lodge the plank in there. And then they would use the plank as, you know, kind of like a staircase to get up the tree to, to the height that they needed to. If we go on the other side of the, this mountain range to the uh, north side of the Nooksack, uh, that is where theoretically the largest tree ever fell was located. It was called the Nooksack Giant. It was over 400 feet long from accounts. Uh, you know, back in that those days, I think some of the heights were exaggerated. But this one was situated right by the river. Got plenty of rain, plenty of nutrients, plenty of sun. Breakfast. Scrambled eggs. This is the best butter. Kerrygold. So I think this is a great opportunity for this video sponsor. Eggs. They're pretty good for you. Are you ready for eggs? Why aren't you excited? I just cooked you eggs. You ungrateful little... It's a little hot, isn't it? Sorry. Is that done? I think it's done. I think I see that otter again. It's too far away to zoom in. This thing called Ozark. I got this at Walmart. Has a wizard lost their wand? So I think it's time to you know, gather up some wood. Especially since the lake's so low, I can I have access to a lot of wood that I normally wouldn't. It's a nice sunny day. Okay. I like this spot. Looks good. Let's make sure it's inflated. Nelson, did he not follow me? Is he still up there? You gotta be careful not to get holes in this thing. My pillow, get my feet exposed. They're pretty white. These are darn tough socks. Some of the best socks I've ever had. Whew. All right, so I'll just cover my eyes up a bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, Nelson, you coming out here? 
What's wrong? So you trying to find a way across or something? What's he doing? What are you doing, bud? Nelson, you're barking at yourself, dude. Cool rock. It's got like a hole in it, or like a bowl, and it's got this big old stripe going through it. It's almost noon. I think it's time to start you know, packing things up, get going. That way I can get back home in a decent time, get everything cleaned up, I'm ready for my next adventure. I'll be going over to Eastern Washington, checking out some spots uh, here in probably about a week. So hopefully you will subscribe if you like the video. If you don't, that's fine whatever you want to do.